So I posted a video a little bit, a little, a little, a little. nope. If you have other suggestions for oils to help with insomnia, if you have other suggestions to help with, oh, I forgot lavender. That's like, all right, got it. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Haley, this is Robin Haley and today's video I'm gonna be telling you about how I use essential oils to help my insomnia. So I posted a video a little while ago and it was unboxing one of my monthly wellness boxes where I get a bunch of products including my essential oils and in that video I got one of the oils that I use for sleep and I talked about how I use it for insomnia and a lot of people asked me what oils I use for insomnia, how I help insomnia with oils, does that make sense? How I help my insomnia with oils, yeah. So I thought I would do a dedicated video talking about that, explaining to you guys my insomnia oil routine and what oils I use to help with insomnia. Just a little background, I have had really bad insomnia for the past two years. I think there's probably been a handful of nights that I have slept through the night all the way um, without waking up once. Lately, I have been really, really bad at using my oils and it's just led to some really bad habits. I end up waking up in the middle of the night and half the time I end up eating, which just is not good and has led me to gain some weight. So. I am getting back into using my oils because for a long time, they were really helping. I was still waking up, but usually just once per night. And when I would wake up, I would use like reapply my oils and I'd fall back asleep. Insomnia is also the reason that I wanted to start using essential oils. I was really struggling and I needed something. I tried taking melatonin. That did not help me. It just didn't do anything for me. Um, and I just was really struggling. I knew that lavender was like a good oil. I had gotten some lavender from Target, tried to use it, it didn't do anything. And I ended up meeting some people who use Young Living oils and they told me that one quality matters. So the lavender I was using might not even be pure lavender, therefore probably wouldn't be effective. And second of all, that there are a lot of other oils that you can use to help you sleep other than lavender. And so that's why I decided to buy Young Living oils and why I got into oils in the first place. So I'm just gonna like walk you through my routine. It's really simple. I don't do a ton and I'm sure that there's other oils. I know that there's other oils that can help with sleep, uh, but these are the ones that I use. This is what I found works for me. Okay, so first of all, in the diffuser I have next to my bed, I diffuse one of two blends. I either diffuse this Dream Catcher oil. So this Dream Catcher oil is a blend. I don't even know exactly what's in it. Okay, it doesn't say on here, but I will put on the screen here what is in Dream Catcher. This is an oil that I redeemed some points to get because it is on the pricier side. As you can, you might be able to see, I haven't used a lot of it because I try to use it sparingly. So I will diffuse this at night. Some nights I usually do two to three drops because it is pretty strong and the diffuser is right next to me. Um, but this is a really good oil just to help knock you out and go to sleep. If I don't diffuse Dreamcatcher, I diffuse this other blend that I actually found when one of my friends, Britt, she shared this on her Instagram story that she was using this blend to help her toddler sleep. She actually included cedarwood in this blend, which I decided not to diffuse. Cedarwood is really good for sleep, but for people who already have vivid dreams, diffusing it can make you have even more vivid dreams, and my dreams are always all over the place, so I decided to not include cedarwood in my diffuser. Okay, so this blend, I usually do like two to three drops each, um, just depending on how I'm feeling. So it is lavender, orange, stress away, and Northern Lights black spruce. So again, um, my friend also included um, cedar wood. And so if you're not somebody that typically has vivid dreams or if you don't really care about having vivid dreams, then cedar wood would be another good one to add to this. Like I said, I do two to three drops each of all of these oils and it really helps me sleep so much. Like 
one of the nights that I slept through the night was the first time I tried this and oh my gosh, it made a difference. And I have not been diffusing lately, hence why my insomnia has been so bad. So I need to get back to diffusing this blend. Plus it smells really good. Okay, and then there are four oils that I apply topically. And this is typically what I will do when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm not lazy and decide to cure my insomnia instead of sitting up awake, which I'm trying to get back into doing more. So these oils um, I apply to different parts of my body. Um, if you didn't know, your feet, there's something called like reflexology and your feet have different points on them that refer to all different parts of your body. So there are specific places that I apply these oils. And then I also just apply them like on my neck and wrists just because it helps to breathe them in. I will also say just a quick disclaimer, I use Young Living oils and I only suggest using Young Living oils, especially for oils that you apply directly to your skin. If you're buying other oils, personally, I don't use any of these other oils, so I just will caution you. You never know what's in an oil, so make sure you know what's in your oils before you use them, especially on your skin. Um, I have never had a single problem with any Young Living oils on my skin at all, um, but if you're not using Young Living, I would be very careful. Some oils are not pure, not safe, include like chemicals and stuff, even if they claim to be pure because the market is not regulated. I'm not gonna get into all of that right now, but I just wanted to say that because I am talking about applying these oils topically and I would just recommend knowing what's in your oils before you decide to do that. But if you are using in living oils, I wouldn't worry about it. I've never worried about it and I've always been safe. Okay, so first of all, I apply vetiver to my big toes. Your big toes are, I believe, connected to your brain or something. And this is like, has been my lifesaver. And again, I haven't been using it lately just because I've been lazy and that's why I've been having such bad insomnia. So. This is amazing. It is a thicker oil. It's kind of woodsy smelling, but the nice thing is you apply it to your feet. So for some reason you don't like the smell, you don't have to worry about it. I do really like the smell of this. So I just put one drop on the bottom of my big toes and like rub them together so that it rubs in. I typically like to like not walk around for about 20 minutes after I apply this just so it can like soak into my feet completely. Next up, I also apply this to the bottom of my feet and behind my ears. This is Valor. Um, I use Valor for so many different things. It is one of my favorite smelling oils. I will also just diffuse this at night sometimes because it really just relaxes me. But again, I put one drop on the bottom of each of my big toes and then I'll put like a drop on my hand and put it behind my ear. You can also put roller tops on these, um, which that makes it easier and I should probably just do that because then you just roll it right on. So that is another one that I use topically. Okay, I know I already talked a little bit about cedarwood and I said I don't like to diffuse it because it does cause vivid dreams and I already have insane dreams, but I use it topically. So here is cedarwood and as you can see, I have a roller top on it because I literally roll it down the bottom of my feet, like in the middle of my feet. This oil helps your body naturally produce melatonin, which is what helps you sleep. This has worked for me so well. It definitely, I mean, I don't know if it causes vivid dreams in me applying topically um, because I already have vivid dreams, but this has helped so much because your body needs to produce melatonin to help you sleep. But when you take melatonin, your body kind of builds up like a resistance to it. And it's like, oh, you're giving me melatonin. I'm not gonna produce it anymore. So that just like leads to more sleep problems if you're taking like melatonin tablets. That's just my experience with it. But this helps your body naturally produce more melatonin directly and amazing. So I roll this onto the bottom of my feet. And then finally, this is the oil that I got in my last essential rewards order and why I got a lot of questions about this video. This is the Calm CBD Roller. So this one is the 300 milligram and the one I got in my order is the 600 milligram. And I decided to get the higher one because I figured that I should start using that in the middle of the night when I wake up because I feel like that will help me fall asleep. I put this sometimes on the bottom of my feet, usually on my wrists, the back of my neck and the front of my neck. Whoa and it smells really good and it really just helps relax you. It has CBD in it. It really just helps you relax and go to sleep and I really like this one. So there you go, there's all, uh, all my oils. That was not a good idea. 
So that's all the oils I use to help with my insomnia. Essential oils can help you with so many different things. And if you're struggling with insomnia, you know how just it takes so much out of you because you're tired, you're frustrated that you can't sleep and really like not getting sleep can really affect your whole life. And so I am so glad that I found something that works to help with my insomnia. They really do help a lot. And like, I'll be honest, I was skeptical about using oils. I had tried some from Target in the grocery store and they just didn't work. But when I got Young Living oils, it made all of the difference. Like the first night that I slept diffusing Young Living oils, I was amazed. Um, I'm not just saying that, like I'm, that's <laughs> the truth. Um, Young Living oils are just like, pure you know what goes into them you know that they are pure and you know that they're distilled right essential oils have to be distilled property to be therapeutic and like the constituents have to come out in the proper distillation process i'm not going to go into all the science but basically if you distill an oil for too short of a time or even too long of a time it won't be therapeutic Young Living Oils, there's a lot of science that goes into it. They are distilled properly and are very effective. So that's just my little spiel about that. But essential oils have really changed my life and helped me so, so much with insomnia when nothing else helped. So please let me know down in the comments below what oils you use for insomnia, if this was helpful, if you have other suggestions, or if you have questions about essential oils, I am here to answer them. If you want to get some Young Living essential oils, there's a link in my description box that you can click on, or you can DM me on Instagram. The best way to get Young Living oils is to get a starter kit. That will include most of the oils that I talked about in the video today, and it's just the best way to like get started, get oils that you use daily, all of that. So you can click the link in my description box or you can DM me on Instagram. I would recommend DMing me on Instagram so we can talk and I can help you get your oils um, and you don't just have to like click on a link and buy something. Um, but if you wanna do that, that is an option too. That link will take you to the starter kit. Also let me know if there are other videos about essential oils you'd like to see. I've done some on my channel before but then haven't done some in a while. So I'm happy to like, share all the different things I know about oils. I've learned a lot since I started using them almost two years ago and I love to share about it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our YouTube family. We'd love to have you. And that's all I got you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.